Hello, welcome back. So today we go for Aqualung Jethro Tull, little shootout and um, showing off the UHQR edition from uh, Analog Productions, the second title in, in this UHQR series. Okay, what can you expect from this video? You can expect a comparison between three editions. I have the Aqualung uh, Stephen Wilson edition, I have the Classic Records edition and I have the UHQR edition which came out just a few, few weeks back. And at the end a killer announcement in, in my opinion. Nobody talked about it up to now which I personally cannot understand because in my opinion this is a killer announcement uh, but we go for that at the end and um, come on let's start with with the editions I will talk about as I told you we have here the Stephen Wilson Aqualung beautiful edition with with a gorgeous uh, uh, booklet inside 33 round per minute and as I said, done by Stephen Wilson and the classic records, mastered by uh, uh, Chris Bellman. Showed that in one of the classic records series, I think in the second part. Outstanding release. And of course, we have today the UHQR edition. Here we go. Beautiful package from Analog Productions. And maybe before we go into the quality, we go in the package itself. This UHQR comes in this very good package. And I, I, I like those packages more than, than I do like the, uh, the uh, One Step from MoFi. They really thought something when they've done this great one, great packages. Um, the first one in this series, by the way, is the uh, Jimi Hendrix Experience. Beautiful, uh, a beautiful album. But we have, we have to wait a long time, I think more than one and a half years before this one came out. But we go a little later into, into this. Then, of course, you have, as this is a 45 round per minute edition, you have the album itself in a beautiful gatefold, very beautiful textured, textured, textured cover. They really did their job with, with, with this one nicely done. Then they go into a good and deep explanation about the way they've created and, and how the, the uh, vinyls are pressed and done. Maybe we go a little uh, into this one because it's quite interesting. Uh, uh, Chad Kasim from, from uh, Analog Productions bought the UHQR label, the name and the production process, mm, which in a, in, a, in, a, in a short way you can say is that those vinyls are hand pressed. They are done one by one. So that may also be the reason why I got my edition a little late. I ordered it quite early, but they delivered those uh, uh, editions uh, uh, in, in, in the way that they look when has one ordered and the first orders got the first editions and they delivered them uh, as they ship into acoustic sound. So what else do we get here? We have this one with, with the package, the UHQR. Then you of course have your certificate, very important. And then the vinyl itself, it's this decolorized beautiful vinyl. Don't get that wrong, it's not a colored vinyl. This is the way this 
beautiful decolored vinyl looks like they go with the green chrysalis label beautiful beautiful so here's the second vinyl looks the same and last but not least you come with this advertising brochure but here is the killer announcement we go in a little data so okay now how does these three releases compare maybe we start with the with the Stephen Wilson the Stephen Wilson is a very very good sounding album Stephen Wilson did a great job on that one it's one of my favorite mixes he has done for me in my uh, opinion the Stephen Reeves Stephen Wilson remixes often contains too much Stephen Wilson you you really hear him that he has done uh, this this master in this case it's not so up front and and I really can recommend this one it's a gorgeous sounding uh, uh, master from Stephen Wilson although we we have to say or I have to say in general I, I think that Aqualand from Jethro Tull is is an iconic album it's it's a great record fantastic prog rock record but not an audiophile uh, edition per se it's not an album that sounds outstanding from the beginning so you have your source material and the source material is not let's say audiophile but and that goes for all uh, releases the, the the people who have done these editions have done their best and they have done a great job the second edition is my classic records 33 and a third round per minute edition on, on black vinyl on that 200 gram quiet xvp vinyl and i favored this one uh, excuse me i favored the classic one over the stephen wilson not by much but but it sounds more natural deeper sound stage is it's better and and, and this uh, remaster is done same guy who has done the UHQR by Chris Bellman this one is out of print of course it's 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 long gone uh, but you can get it at, at around um, 80 bucks over at Discogs which is quite some but compared to other releases of classic records it's reasonable because this is a very very good edition the edition I do not have is the 45 round per minute two disc edition from Jess Rotal which goes for an enormous amount of money uh, uh, over at Discogs from classic records but but this UHQR edition from analog production uses the platters from uh, the Chris Bellman 45 round per minute master why can they do that they can do that because Chad Kasim bought classic records a few years ago and that's the source material for this UHQR so in a way we are talking about the classic records 45 round per minute edition on better vinyl and these advantages that this edition from analog productions has on paper 45 round per minute and better vinyl they deliver it they bring it back home this is when it comes to these three editions the best sounding edition it sounds very very coherent gorgeous dynamics that's for me the biggest difference between the Stephen Wilson and the 33 and the third round per minute classic records is the dynamic and on second the clarity and, and clearness overall it really gains it, it, it's clearer it's more sophisticated it's coherent and okay that may be not a big surprise but but for me UHQR 
edition of Aqualung delivered. I'm very happy with it. It's that flat, completely silent pressing, beautiful. 10 out of 10. If you consider that Aqualung per se is not such a hot sounding record. It's a hot record, but not a hot sounding record. So if, if you are into Aqualung, if you are into Jethro Tal, go for it as long as it's there. It's gorgeous record and a gorgeous pressing. Well done, Mr. Kasim. And for me, this is the best version you can get from Aqualung. That's for the comparison. And now we talk about something that surprised me in, in, in many ways. Because there has been other videos uh, out from this Aqualung UHQR and nobody talked about a, a, a new announcement. And so I thought, okay, no, they didn't make the same mistake. For me, it was a mistake to announce a record and you have to wait one or two years. Huh? They do that, I know, I don't. Mophie does it, they do it. But I don't like that. I want, don't, don't like to wait too long. And then we got this advertisement here in, in, in the release. I opened it, looked in it, and then I saw this. Miles Davis. Kind of blue as an UHQR. 45 RPM, clarity vinyl. And a 33 and a third RPM clarity vinyl. Two versions, one on 33 and a third for the martini drinkers and one for the audio file now. Uh, 145 round per minute for the non-martini drinkers. Miles Davis kind of blue. Now, of course, I, I hear you. What? Why? Another version. Why do they release that over and over and over again? And you're right. You're right. But please, let me say one thing or two things. Kind of Blue is the most selling jazz album of all times. Maybe together with Keith Jarrett Cologne Concert, but it's, it sells well. And we have the uh, MoFi Kind of Blue, which is a gorgeous release. But I had the pleasure to hear the Bernie Grundman Classic Records mix on the Classic Records edition. 45 round per minute on four discs it was, I think. And that was gorgeous. Gorgeous. What Bernie Grundman did with this release, with the uh, 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 kind of uh, with the uh, uh, kind of blue, was outstanding. And on the Aqualung, they used the master from Classic Records. And I'm quite sure they will use on this edition the Bernie Grundman master. And if that will be so, we have a fantastic release of Miles Davis' Kind of Blue, which will make an outstanding addition to the MoFi uh, Kind of Blue. I know a lot of, of, of vinyl collectors are not so much into more than one copy of one release, but okay, come on, we're talking about Kind of Blue, we're talking about Bernie Grundman, and maybe you make an exception. I'm very happy uh, uh, that they will put out the Miles Davis. My hopes had been into uh, the Who, Who's Next, because this will be out there next year for 50 years, that they put out this on as an UHQR release, but maybe they do both. Let's see and wait. But for me, that was a killer announcement for 2021. Okay, thank you for your time. See you. Bye.